Now, WGAL News 8's Weather on the 8s with meteorologist Matt Moore. Good morning. It's now 548. Pretty quiet start of the morning once again. We're looking live from our uh, Lancaster Skycam. Not a whole lot to see here yet. Uh, the sun not up above the horizon. In fact, we're losing about three minutes of daylight per day as we go into the later parts of September, early October. Temperature wise, starting off on a cool note, but comfortable. 56 degrees currently in the Red Rose City. Dew points in the uh, low, low to mid 50s for the most part across the region. Still seeing a little bit of some patchy fog being reported across the area. If you do run into that fog, give yourself an extra couple of minutes. Yesterday, the National Weather Service triggered some air quality alerts, code oranges for today uh, for the Susquehanna Valley. You can see all the counties here shaded in orange under that air quality alert. Uh, sensitive groups should probably avoid outdoor activities, especially this afternoon as we head to the peak heating, uh, the ground warming up, plus very little air movement with that high pressure overhead it is going to lead to some pollutants trapped near the ground that, uh, again, will affect those sensitive groups more than others. So be aware of that. Uh, temperature wise this morning, though, we're not in that warm range yet. Very comfortable for us in the 50s and low 60s. Radar is quiet, just a few high clouds streaming by down to our south. East Petersburg in the background of the News 8 Storm Team forecast. That's Lancaster. County. East Petersburg Day is kicking off today and goes through the next couple of days. It'll be sunny and warm for the, any of those events going on later. And this evening, things remain rather comfortable. We see a quick drop in the temperatures as the sun goes down from highs into the middle 80s to lows tonight, uh, falling into the upper 50s. So perhaps just a couple of degrees milder than what we have been the last couple of nights, but still pretty comfortable. Some patchy fog certainly possible overnight and into tomorrow morning. Should be burning off mostly sunny and warm once again, and those highs once again topping out in the the middle 80s. We hit 84 yesterday looking at the almanac. 84 was the official high. 56 was that morning low, which did match the average low. But our 84, eight degrees above normal for this time of the year. So we're in quite the warm stretch when you look back on what is considered normal for this time of the year. But at least our dew points are staying down. So the heat isn't all too bad. Uh, we're going to be seeing those dew points staying low at least through the next couple of days. But by the time we hit Saturday, they will start to rise. High pressure right now keeping a lot of these high clouds at bay down to our south. That high will slowly slide off the coast and 24 hours from now, the center of it will be located off, just off of Atlantic City. More of a southwesterly wind begins to develop through the day on Friday, but the humidity will again stay down. Really starts to see some changes, though, into Saturday as this next cold front begins to approach the region. We stay mainly cloud-free, although I'm adding a little bit more in the way of cloudiness uh, on Saturday afternoon, but we will start to notice some higher humidity values, some stickier air working into the Susquehanna Valley. So 84 degrees the next three days, all the way into the weekend. As that cold front front makes its approach to the valley. We'll be tracking the chance of a couple of showers here and there on Sunday. Don't cancel your outdoor plans. I think Sunday afternoon will actually look pretty good, just a little on the breezy side. Into Monday, there may perhaps be a shower or two lingering. Same story Tuesday and Wednesday, too. Uh, but overall, not, uh, nothing screams to me a washout by any stretch of the imagination. Just kind of daily shower chances, also some cooler temps, too. All right. Okay. Not bad. All right. Yeah, no, it still looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Matt. Got Thank it. you, Matt.